I came across this video for Njugosh and uh, <laughs> it, it really resonated with me because it really took me back to my experience in high school and uh, it was it was an eye-opener as to just how much people can grow okay <laughs> let me give you an example um, on one of those subjects about like what what Nyugush talked about now but ours was different so what guys did uh, we were we, we didn't have showers so we used to I used to have to carry uh, a basin of water or a bucket of water to go to the bathroom and shower just cubicles just exactly like he exactly like he described and uh, while you're in there uh, for some reason <laughs> there are some people who are just chilling somewhere and watching you <laughs> what's wrong with us at that age you know you you go to bathe and you put your basin in your little cubicle <laughs> just like as, it, as that's what i'm telling you that story really resonated with me and so you bend down you pour it on yourself and you you get soap and you start lathering and cleaning your body as soon as they notice that you had put soap over your eyes and you couldn't see anything as in some of these people did it as a prank and others just did it out of malice and if you are one of those guys who did this out of malice um I, I i i hope you're in jail right now <laughs> and i hope you're not watching this video. I, I hope you're watching this video in jail right now because this, this this shit that just it just didn't make sense okay so yeah where was i you've lathered yourself okay and you can't see shit and what does this guy decide to do to take away your basin of water as in he carries it and just goes and you're in your own moment and you squat down and dig your nails into the coarse concrete <laughs> of the bathroom floor expecting to find your basin of water as in what was wrong with us H how could you do that to another human being as in i think these are some of the people who are out here right now with psychological issues because that stuff doesn't make sense you know and it happened it was a norm looking back right now that shit's just mean <laughs> it's just it's just really mean okay <laughs> let me give you another example uh this is more fun uh, okay one thing to remember about this part of the story is that we were in a mixed school okay when i say we i mean me and my brothers uh we were in a mixed school and uh the beauty about my school is that it was a really good mesh of people okay we had students who were uh, having to raise fees through fundraisers and uh, scholarships and stuff like that up cutting across until MPs and ministers kids like we had a rich mixture of people at school and the funny thing is that <laughs> this happened with all of these people like um uh, let me explain our school was in a really hilly place so we got a lot of rainfall like a lot of rainfall and when it rained, this was the one time that we got to enjoy God's natural shower. Yes, a mixed school, okay? Remember, we're in a mixed school. And we enjoyed God's natural shower, but us naked outside. And like I said, uh, the only thing that separated the boys and the girls end of thing was the football field. Like, if you really paid attention, okay? Like, if you really <laughs> paid attention, you could... Just, you could see what we were doing. You could. And I'm sure some of uh, our, our old boys and old girls remember this. Okay. <laughs> that you could literally walk from the dorm or when you're going somewhere and pass by another nigger, but us naked, showering in the rain, and you said nothing. Because <laughs> that was just normal. That was, hey, it's a rainy day. Okay. <laughs> some of the shit that i really cannot talk about <laughs> i just thinking back to it was like really weird you know borrowing again from what jugush talked about like our toilets oh my god our toilets like we had this thing where people felt that they had to remove their shots as they went to the toilet and the toilet was like a walking distance away so he takes off his shirt leaves it on the stairs railing and walks up with a bare chest to the toilet um with the illusion that if he goes in there with his shirt it's gonna catch 
some of that smell and <laughs> he's gonna smell like that for the rest of the day i do not know how true this is but it it's, it's it's it was the norm like that was it like you could walk past the stairs of the dormitories and count the number of shirts on the rails and go like okay the toilets are full i need to wait <laughs> for someone to come out so i can go so much so much of high school is in a nutshell learning how to survive and i think boarding school is a really important rite of passage for everyone okay i'm not saying guys who went to who went to day school then go through their own shit but you didn't go through boarding school shit because boarding school shit is just on another level as a <laughs> i would love i would love to have like a forum of maybe like two or three people who are just willing to sit down and discuss this shit okay because <laughs> i really want to hear other stories i would like to know that we were not the only ones who are fucked up <laughs> so uh one option one tell us your stories write them in the comment section tell me tell us one of the weirdest things that used to happen at your school option two if you're in mombasa okay if you're in, we're going to do this in Mombasa. okay fine we're going to do it on zoom okay fine from anywhere from anywhere let's leave it open from anywhere if you would like to be a part of the high school memoirs that's what we're gonna call them <laughs> if you want to be a part of the high school memoirs let me know in the comments hit me up in the inbox and i, I would love to put this together and share it because i think it would be amazing <laughs> my name is ricky nelson and thanks for watching <laughs>